Hey, what's going on guys? Super Swimmer here, and welcome back to Total Drama Island Simulator, where we have seven campers left. Bridget, Courtney, Duncan, Eva, Ezekiel, Katie, and Sadie. Surprise! I am actually surprised that these two are still here. Uh, but anyway, we left off on episode 19. All right, last time we just finished episode 18. We don't have that far left. Uh, who, who do you think is going to be the winner? Who do you think is going to be the winner? Okay, so episode 19. Let's let's just get started. Like no more no more dilly dallying, I guess, if that's what people say anymore. I I don't know, but I'm just gonna go with it. So and again, I'm gonna slowly scroll through these, uh, just because I'm not gonna read all of them, just to make the episode slightly shorter, because uh, I can actually fit in more, uh, with it with me going through these quicker. So if you want to read those, go back and pause them because I am not going to read them. Okay, the wild hunt. Campers have eight hours to trap an animal and bring it back to the campfire unharmed. Before the challenge begins, campers take turns pulling slips of paper out of a hat to decide what animal they will be hunting. When the challenge starts, campers will have one minute to collect as much equipment as they want. The first camper to bring their animal back wins a feast of all their favorite foods, while the loser must clean the communal washrooms, which are completely disgusting. Uh, okay, so Bridget selects the deer, Sadie selects frog, Ezekiel selects raccoon. He pretty much is a raccoon. Uh, Katie selects beaver, Duncan selects chipmunk, Corny selects duck, and of course Eva gets the bear because she she is almost a bear herself in her, with all that strength she has. Uh, challenge begins, Bridget brings back the deer first and wins a feast. Corny, bring back, Corny brings back the duck, Duncan brings back the chipmunk. Katie, what was I trying to say? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Katie brings back the beaver. Sadie brings back the frog. Uh, Ezekiel brings back the raccoon. And Eva brings back the bear, but must c clean the communal washrooms, which sucks. It really does. But, okay, so let's see. Courtney and Eva have a minor disagreement. It has a lasting impact. All right. And then, of course, all of these. Bridget is targeting Ezekiel. Ezekiel is targeting Bridget. And, of course, Eva is targeting Duncan. They're pretty much just going at it, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Okay, campfire ceremony. So we have... Now, you guys know how this goes. I'm not reading that. Uh, first, Marshmallow goes to Sadie. Second goes to Eva. Third goes to Courtney. Fourth goes to Katie. Three left. Bri fifth goes to Ezekiel. Sixth goes to Bridget. And then Duncan must walk the dock of shame. So... For those of for all those Duncan fans that are out there, I'm sorry. He has just been voted off. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Episode 20. Who knew we would have actually gotten this far? I mean, I, I honestly didn't. But you guys seem to really like this series, so I'm going to bring this on to the end. So uh, let, let's do episode 20. Uh, so yeah, the alliances. Like, there's all the alliances. And then the highlights. I'm going to slowly scroll through these. And uh, let's see what they actually have in store for us in episode 20. The Tri-Arm Triathlon. Campers complete in three challenges while handcuffed to a partner. Before each challenge, pairs will be offered to take a wimp key. If a pair takes the key, they will be freed from their partner, but will also be eliminated from the challenge. For the first challenge, Competitive Chowdown. Pairs must Choose a feeder and an eater. While the eater must have their hands behind them at all times, the feeder must feed their partner. The first feeder to complete their platter of food wins the challenge for the pair. For the second challenge, pairs must canoe out of Boney Island and open a packet. Or out to Boney Island and open a package that is waiting for them. In the package is a portion of of a cursed idol which must be returned to the cave of treacherous terror try saying that try saying that five times fast uh, but campers will have to piggyback their partner there uh, the first pair to return their idol wins the challenge for the final challenge the totem pole of shame and humiliation pairs must assemble a totem pole starting from the first camper voted out to the most recent using wooden heads of those eliminated before them. The first pair to correctly assemble the totem pole wins the challenge. The pair that wins the most challenges wins invincibility. If all three pairs win, 
win a challenge. No one wins invincibility. Okay, that's that's a pretty good uh like thing there. And wow, I I I just noticed uh, Ezekiel is the only guy left. Come on, Ezekiel, you gotta bring it home for the dudes. Uh, but all's fair in love and war, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so the first pair consists of Eva and Ezekiel. Come on, you have to, you have to bring it home, Ezekiel. I, I'm putting all my faith in you. And imagine I'm getting voted out first. <laughs> Uh, the second pair consists of Bridget and Courtney. The third pair consists of Katie and Sadie. Of course it would, because they're pretty much insep- Eh, whatever. Uh, inseparable. Uh, challenge begins. Bridget and Courtney win challenge one. Katie and Sadie win challenge two. Oh, so no one wins invincibility. Okay, so Ezekiel, come on, don't get voted out. Uh, let's see. Oh, he has a major meltdown. What's with all? What's with the major meltdowns this time? Uh, okay. Uh, target Sadie's. Okay. All right. So, no one's really going after. Oh wait, no Zeke. Oh, never mind. They're going after each other. Uh, but no one's really going after uh Courtney or Katie. All right. Uh, let's see. The yeah, five marshmallows. First goes to Sadie. Second goes to Katie. Third goes to Courtney. Uh, fourth goes to Eva. Let's see. Uh, yes! Ezekiel, you're still in. Yes! I knew I would count. I knew I could count on you. I knew I could. Uh, and then Bridget must walk the the boat of losers. Must walk the dock of shame and board the boat of losers. I can read. I was just going a little bit fast. Uh, okay. So let's proceed. You know what? That was a little bit short. So let's just do... Let's just quickly run through this this final one so anyway episode 21 we'll just go ahead and do this oh yeah because it's really short anyway uh so let's proceed the twist Ooh, what is this um let's see the the twist the losers yeah this is everyone that's been voted off the losers reveal their opinions on the remaining campers there is no jury all 17 losers will vote out one of the final five all right let's see what the votes are <sighs> Dang it, Ezekiel, why? <laughs> no, no, Ezekiel, no. No, I had so much faith in you. Why, Ezekiel, why? Oh, my God. Okay. So, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bridget and Ezekiel have been voted off. Uh, I am kind of sad about Ezekiel a little bit. Barely. Uh... But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to hit the I like button down below. And if you want the series to continue, and uh, please let me know down in the comments uh, any suggestions that you may have for future videos, because I am always looking for new suggestions, because it's really nice doing something that other people ask in this kind of respect. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.